she was born into NASCAR royalty, and that does not mean, though, that her life has been a smooth road so far. I want to introduce you to our next guest. We have Kelly Earnhardt Miller with us this morning. You're probably recognizing that name, Earnhardt. And yes, she is the daughter of Dale Earnhardt Sr. and the sister of Dale Earnhardt Jr., but she has made a name of her own in the business world. First of all, Kelly, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Heather. I'm excited to be here. Well, I'm glad you're here with us this morning, and we'll talk more about the business side and what you do here in just a moment. But first, it sounds like NASCAR will be back to racing in maybe a different form we've never seen before toward the end of the month of May. How do you feel about that, and are you ready? We are excited to get back. I think so many people are excited to get to whatever the new normal is. You, you're talking about getting back. We are going to go back in such a different way without fans and, and very limited crews. But uh, the Cup Series hits the track May 17th, and our Xfinity cars hit the track on May 19th. So we're, we're very much looking forward to it. Good. And I think uh, Americans in general are looking forward to seeing those cars back out there, even if that means we're now watching it on our TV screen. Kelly, kind of set the stage a little bit for us. You grew up as an Earnhardt. You actually raced when you were a kid. I read that you learned to drive at the age of 12. Uh, is that you right there? That is. <laughs> I'd love that. Is. Yeah, so, um, you know, growing up in the sport, it's all I've ever known. My dad was a, a racer from the time I was born uh, uh, until he passed, and I tried my hand at, uh, also at racing in the mid-90s. Uh, was a little bribe with my dad. I was at college uh, several hours away, and uh, he brought me to move home and finish up school in the area and said I could drive race cars, which is something that I had always asked to do, but was never allowed to because I was a girl. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, during the 90s, that time was uh, kind of difficult to race. I was going to college. I was working. I was racing, doing a lot of different things. Um, looking back after my dad's death in 2001, the business, uh, you know, getting my college degree and going after the business world, uh, you know, I, w I wouldn't change a thing in terms of what I'm doing today. So. You describe your dad as somebody who didn't have a high school diploma, but was one of the smartest businessmen you'd ever met. And you said that that just seems to run in the family. So now what are you doing in the NASCAR world? And then we'll also talk about your book here in just one, which I really encourage everyone to read. Yeah, thank you. So, you know, I, we, uh, I've been managing my brother's career since 2001. I came to work with him about six months after our father passed. And uh, just on the premise that I knew that someone needed to kind of look after his interest, and, um, and so uh, we then got into our own NASCAR teams. Uh, so I manage his brand and, and his business, negotiate contracts, fun stuff like that. And uh, then we run four Xfinity teams. So we have 125 employees here, uh, lots of different things going on and every day is different and a challenge. Challenge, especially right now, which brings me to your book because it was so well-timed. It's called Drive, Nine Lessons to Win in Business and in Life. A lot of people might be interested in hearing what you have to say, considering that their business may be completely paused right now. Yeah, I was very worried about the release of this book. It's something we've worked on for about 18 months. And so, you know, not knowing that we would be in this environment that we are now with the COVID and, and all quarantined and at home. But um, uh, it is perfect timing because it's, uh, you know, the book is hopeful. It's inspirational. Um, it's nine lessons to win. They're, they're very simple things like being approachable and being authentic and managing your emotions and leading with your heart. And, and so they're applicable in, in really any environment. And uh, especially now, uh, you know, I think there's just lots of ways that you can apply it uh, from a business perspective and really just in all relationships that you uh, may have. Speaking of relationships, you talk in the book and you've talked very openly about your relationship with your dad. And as you were growing up, you know, his mind was obviously focused very much on racing and pursuing his passion. Where do you find balance, Kelly, in your own life? Because you have three kids too, but also you are one of the top female leaders in the business side of NASCAR. So is there such thing as a work-life balance? I think there is, and I think you just have to make it a priority, and and uh, and making it a priority comes compromise and sacrifice, and so it's really about what uh, makes you happy, what gives you peace, and how you describe success, um, and uh, so, you know, I think there can be a work-life balance, and uh, I think it's just all up to each of us as individuals to, to put the different things in priority of, of what's important to us. And for a lot of people, it is career, um, you know, and, and for others, it's family first. Um, and so 
you know, at the time that my dad, our relationship, uh, you know, that was kind of the way of life then. It, we live in a much different society now and, and the way we balance things and what's important and, and all of that. So uh, I know it's um, just the way he was raised himself. Um, but I want people to know they matter. I want my children to know they matter. I want my husband to know he matters. I want my employees to know they matter. And that's really what I focus on is, is that part of uh, caring for people and making them feel worthy. What just uh, what brings <laughs> me back to your book, because I think we could all just learn some day-to-day -day lessons and big life lessons as we're all going through this. It's called Drive, Nine Lessons to Win in Business and in Life. Kelly Earnhardt Miller, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me.